Alrighty, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can graph and hence visualize a binomial distribution, AKA a binomial PDF in the TI Inspire CX2 CAS. So the first thing you wanna gonna to wanna to do is make a new page by going control doc and getting a list and spreadsheets page open. And up here, we're gonna type N in the A section, and that's just gonna represent the number of trials or the number of successes rather. I'm gonna start with zero, one, two, just to get the uh, computer or the calculator to understand, I'm gonna go up in one, two, threes. And let's say we're going to be doing uh, 30 trials here. So rather than typing three enter, four enter, five enter, all the way down to 30, what you can do is you can select all these and go menu, data, fill, and then just scroll down to where you want it to be. I know I'm gonna to have to scroll down to 31 because I started with zero, so I'm gonna have one extra and click there and it'll fill automatically for you. So you don't have to go ahead and type in all of those numbers yourself and you can just go straight back to the top. Okay, so now that we've filled all of our numbers down to 30, we're gonna come across to the top here and label this one as bin, it's gonna stand for binomial and then go down into my equal sign here. By typing in a function here, it's gonna populate all of these cells with the relevant uh, values. So we're gonna type binom PDF bracket, and then the uh, syntax to put in what you want is the number of trials, so we're doing 30, and the number of successes, let's say 0.4. Close your brackets and hit enter on your computer or on your calculator, and it's gonna generate all of your probabilities for each of these n values. So what this means is if we do 30 trials, there is a 0.004149, etc. probability that we are going to get five successes, five out of 30 with a probability of, uh, that we put in of 0.4, right? If we go ahead and change that probability to something much smaller, then the probability of only getting say four wins is going to increase because each individual prob probability is smaller. So if I change that to say, for example, 0.05, so only a 5% chance of success and hit enter, uh, yes, overwrite the data. You can see here that the successes or the probability of getting exactly four successes is now almost 5%, 4.5%, as opposed to the less than 1% it was before. So I'm gonna go back up here and change this back to 40%, just for the sake of this, overwrite all my data, and there it is in my lists and spreadsheets. Now to visualize this, we need to create a new page, control doc, and it's gonna be a data and statistics page. And so this is just all of those values randomly scattered. So we need to organize them by adding variables on the x axis, on the x -axis. This is gonna be n, the number of successful uh, wins, and we are going to scale them by the probability of winning that many times by putting the variable bin, which is our binomial variable there. And you can see that it's scaled up based on the probability of each one of these n values, these discrete n values. And for example, this one here, the probability of getting nine wins when we do 30 trials with a probability of 0.4 is 0.08. So about 8% chance. The highest probability in this distribution is getting 12 wins out of 30, and that's 0.14, so about 15% chance. And that's how you can visualize that. You can visualize the shape even better by going uh, menu, uh, plot properties, that's number two, and connect data points, and you just get a nice line there. But more or less, uh, if you're gonna do 20 or more trials, you're gonna get something that resembles a normal distribution anyway. But that is how you can use your TI Inspire CX2 CAS to visualize a binomial probability or a binomial distribution for a given number of trials and a given probability of success. Hope that helped you out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more uh, maths and tech videos. See you next one.